Welcome back, WNST, Towson, and Baltimore, and WNST.net. We're in Miami Beach, our ongoing Super Bowl 54 coverage. Brought to you by our friends at Royal Farms. I'm running out of Liberty Pure Water. And, you know, water is important on a hydration level to keep the, 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 the pipes going here. This guy joined us, uh, and, and, man, you try. You're an effort guy, Jeff Garcia. We knew that as a quarterback. <laughs> we knew that from Canada to the United States of America, Philadelphia, San Francisco, everywhere you ever were. Man, you gave it the college effort, but you had no voice here. On So this could be nice having you on. We actually, we, we, we're going to know what you have to say. You, you know? actually can hear me this year. What ha you were sick <laughs> as a dog, dude. You know, having four kids, it happens every once in a while. And I think something went through my kids, and they pass it on to dad, and Lack of rest, all those things contributed to it. But yeah, last year in Atlanta, it was the worst time you to lose your voice. On. You were like yeah, sick as a it dog. It was a little cold out there too. But uh, you know, I'm back. I'm revived. The Niners are here, and uh, I'm uh, I'm enjoying the experience. You know, let, let's talk about that because um, this is a pretty good football game. We're kind of mixed up in this with the Ravens, where. We thought this was ours. And when I landed here, I'm like, they're staying in our hotels. They're they're drinking our beer. They're using our tickets. Uh, you know, there is a feeling about being that good, and then you just get pounded, and then you have to sit here and watch this unfold over the last couple of weeks. Yeah, I really thought with the way Baltimore had played throughout the season that they were unbeatable. I mean, they kind of had the right ingredients going in all directions. And uh, unfortunate for you Baltimore people, but um, – all I can speak about is that uh, nobody expected the San Francisco 49ers to be in the Super Bowl this year outside of that locker room, I'm sure. And uh, I've been covering the team for the last three years, working for NBC Sports Bay Area. And uh, to see this uh, progression, to see what John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan have put together and built, and uh, it's really an exciting time in the Bay Area. I'm from the Bay Area originally, grew up a Niner fan, and then I lived the childhood dream of being able to play for the team I grew up watching and idolizing the likes of Joe Montana and Jerry Rice and all those guys but um, you know you just never know when it comes down to one game right it's so important on that day to be clicking on all cylinders and for whatever reason it didn't happen for Baltimore but hey they're not going to be denied, denied in years to come I think they have a great thing going and obviously Lamar Jackson probably MVP of the of the NFL this year and uh, what they're building around him, uh, they're going to be good. They're going to be tough to beat in years to come. Well, you talk about Lamar, and, and, and we had Doug Flutie here in the Canadian League and the way the game is played. This version of football with Lamar looked like bumper cars last year. This year it looked a little bit more organized, and certainly he's throwing the ball better. The concepts are there. Greg Roman trying to put this thing together to get the 14 wins. Some thoughts about that offense and – uh, I, I guess the, the repeatability of it, not just for the Ravens, but for anybody else. And you know, obviously Kansas City's using some concepts, used sure, to some other quarterbacks, sure. and you like to run a little bit. Well, I think I was a little ahead of my time. I think I would have flourished. 2,000 rushing yards in your career. I would career. have flourished yeah. in this these type of systems. But it's all about adaptability and what these coaches, what Greg Roman has done there mm -hmm. in Baltimore, what Andy Reid does in Kansas City, is that they're not force-feeding their quarterback to be a robot like you're going to run our system. No, let's look at our skill set. Let's see what you do well. Let's see how we can create and build something around you to allow you to have an opportunity to be successful. And uh, that's really what they've done out there in Baltimore. They've taken a guy who's got a tremendous skill set, and I liked him in college. I liked him at Louisville. I thought he threw the ball well. I thought he was accurate. I mean, you don't win the Heisman without doing things sure. well. And uh, it was just a matter of getting things straightened out for him. And uh, I think the last season when he got some experience on the field, was able to get playing time and, and develop and, and get that just live action, those live bullets coming at your way. And now knowing that, hey, we're going into this season with this guy as our guy, we're going to plan a put a plan together that's going to help him flourish and succeed and man did he take it to another level i i have to think uh you're a 49er guy but you mentioned andy reed uh, you you had the 2006 season with philadelphia i know you had another brief stint there but soft spot in your heart for andy and, and thinking okay if it's not the niners andy getting the super bowl well, absolutely, in the sense that he's such a great guy. He's a player's coach, and, you know, Harbaugh falls oh, out yeah. of the Andy sure. Reid tree, and I know all those guys in Baltimore as well. And uh, what Andy has done with his teams, you talk about consistency, 
as a head coach. The guy is always putting together a team that challenges for division titles. This team was a couple plays away from being in the Super Bowl last year. And I think knowing that, having a young quarterback that has such a tremendous upside, a skill set of receivers around this young guy that just can extend the field and uh, really cover a lot of ground sideways and vertically, uh, really has, I think, brought some fun out in Andy to get that much more creative. I know that in Philly, we did some things that really exploited some defenses and found some ways to get down the field and over the top. He does that more than ever with this group, and uh, they're exciting to watch what they did a couple weeks ago against Houston, coming down from 24 to zero. Like it was nothing. In like six <laughs> minutes, eight minutes, we have wow. 28 points on the board. was incredible. And then being down against Tennessee, a team that you thought, hey, this team's playing great football right now. They're smash mouth football, physical. Well, they put a stop to that, obviously, in stopping Henry, and then Mahomes did his thing. I mean, the guy has been outstanding, obviously, NFL Player of the Year, MVP last year, had an MVP caliber season this year. Uh, they're clicking on all cylinders right now. Jeff Garcia returning the radio row this year, promoting health, wellness, pain management, and recovery with Athletes Preferred. Maybe a good time to talk about this. I mean, you look like you're in peak physical condition, Jeff Garcia, and you got your pipes back this year as well. Right. Um, you know, former players and CBD, and uh, we, we've been accused of these being THC. They're actually not. This is just sport of <laughs> uh, but, but love the Curio, uh, Curio Wellness, one of our great sponsors as well. Sure. But uh, more players involved in Absolutely. healing and wellness for things that 15 years ago were taboo. Yes, and I think the NFL needs to get on board and open their eyes at to the fact that there are medicinal options out there that are beneficial to your body and mind. And I think that's where players these days really are seeking out and searching for things that aren't so self-destructive, that aren't addictive, that aren't the opioids of the past that have become dependent upon because of trying to mask pain. And uh, CBD. I think you probably had a lot of pain in your, your oh, era. Sure. I mean, I remember I, you were always nicked up because well, you ran to football. Absolutely. And as a former player, as a, a, a man today, I don't live without certain discomfort and pain. And it's just going to be part of my life moving forward. But can I do things that are going to help me? Staying active is important to me. Physical activity helps me not just physically, but also mentally. And what I put into my body, how I eat, the nutrition. The supplements that I utilize, CBD is one of those supplements that I have now come to swear by because it benefits me. We have CBD oils, we have oral oils, we have the creams, the uh, different products, capsules that uh, can be all found on athletespreferred.com and uh, we see the benefits. I see the benefits and there are a lot of players that are advocates of CBD products and people need to understand and be educated that CBD doesn't necessarily come from a marijuana plant. It can come from a hemp plant. It's not going to make you high. It doesn't have the THC uh, chemical in it. And uh, this is a natural, organic-based product that, that'll benefit anti-inflammation, brain protectant, all of those things that you can take into your system and, and feel good about. You as a former player and as, as a guy that's been athletic and everything you do, when this first comes to you, five, six, seven, you, whenever it came to everybody around the same time, doing the research uh, above and beyond what Sanjay Gupta may have on CNN, which is kind of the only place it kind of came to you seven or eight years ago, you know, every player has, has been exposed to this now, whereas when you played, you couldn't have been exposed to it. So the... Everybody has a first education as an adult to this, right? Absolutely. Yeah, I think there's a lot of like just misconceptions about CBD that people don't quite understand yet. And I was one of those guys like, I, I don't want to smoke any weed. I don't want to get high. That's just not me. Hey, it could be somebody, it could be beneficial for somebody else. And we know there's a lot of med medicinal uh, benefits to what people do in that area, but that's not... When did you know this was working? When did you try it, and, wh and what it worked It really first? came in the last two years. I've probably been a late bloomer to, to it, but uh, being introduced to it through Tammy Thomas, who is the leader of our Athletes Preferred brand, okay. uh, just hearing her speak and all of the research that she's done 
both with marijuana, THC, and, and cancer patients, but also CBD from the hemp plant and, and just the benefits that uh, help in everyday life. People that are struggling to get out of bed and, and just the improvements that they've had, whether it be back pain or feet pain or arthritis or different things like that. I mean, you can't sit here and say, well, research over the last 50 years has proven that this works. Well, can't say that, but you can say that there are a lot of people out there that are experiencing some very positive uh, signs of improvement because they're taking CBD. Jeff, good to see you, man. I appreciate talking some football with us. Absolutely. I got your full voice. You can find uh, Jeff's work out here, athletepreferred.com, the way to find that, and uh, out of Bay Area as well. Yeah, you talk about it, 49ers, that, that's all they got, right? I mean, the Raiders are taking off for the Darth Vader. The Raiders are gone. Gone to Vegas, so, hey, the 49ers <laughs> are the Bay now. That's it. Super Bowl 54 coverage continues from Miami Beach to the Convention Center. All of it brought to you by our friends at Royal Farms. Real fresh, real fast. I'll get back for some Western fries and some fried chicken, as well as our friends at Raskin Global, empowering people to choose your financial future, they've been doing it for over 33 years. Let Raskin Global help you make your American dream a reality. Find that Raskin, R-A-S-K-I-N, global.com. We are WNST.net, AM 1570, and WNST Towson, Baltimore, and we never stop talking. Baltimore Sports.